Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Let's head over to the post office to see if I have any mail. Here's all the mail I got today. That's a pretty good amount of mail. Let's get back to the studio and see what's in here. Now that we're back in the studio and I got my coffee, we got a lot of mail to go through and I figured I would open it now on the show and try to get to it if I can in an episode because the fishing really sucks right now. This one is from Chris in Trap Hill, North Carolina. Let's see what we got. All right, we have a letter here. I've enclosed some lures for me to try for my personal collection for your mail challenge. Best of luck to you always. Hope you have a blessed day, Johnny. All right, Johnny, let's see what we got here. Johnny sent these from his personal collection. Let's just go over a few. Looks like a few items here. We got some yum craws. I'm not sure what this is. It's like a giant red grub. Got some zoom worms. I think that's a zoom worm. There we go. That's a yum Christy critter. I recognize that. This is another miscellaneous plastic worm. There's a big gold flipping bait. I'm not sure what kind of lure this is. Pretty crazy. Looks like you got a couple of each lure in here. All right. Thanks for sending these in, Johnny. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to fish with some of these catch something on the show with them. All right, this next one is from Jay in Hickory, North Carolina. Message in envelope. Let's see if I can cut this envelope off of here. Got so much tape. All right, let's see if we can get in here. Hello, Alex. Here is one of my handmade topwater lures. Don't feel any need to plug it on the channel. I'm just sending it because I love the channel. P.S. The lure is hand carved out of northern basswood. Alright, let's check it out. There we go. So it's a top water popper. It's pretty nice. It's got a nice blue, blue green painted finish with a light colored belly and some nice looking eyes. Carved out of basswood. It's pretty cool. Hopefully I can get this out there one day and get a bass on it. Let's see what else we got. All right, we got this one from Tony in Lynchburg, Virginia. All right, inside of this we have a little tackle box. I gotta be careful, it's cracked right here. All right, inside of this tackle box we have a little spoon, little tiger. Looks like an older one, maybe from the 80s. We also have a blue fox spinner and a cast master spoon. Let's see what else we got in here. We have a head and sonic. This is like a little panfish lipless crankbait. I fish a similar version to this, a new cream lipless crankbait. All right, we got a couple more inline spinners. Rooster tail, everyone knows that one. This one doesn't have a name on it. It almost looks homemade. It's like a little trout lure. Let's see if there's anything in the other side. All right, so we got a spoon here. I'm not sure what kind of spoon it is, but it looks like an arrowhead. There's your very traditional daredevil spoon. All right, here we have a MEPS inline spinner. Here we have a, another blue fox, but this one has that kind of minnow body. 
Here's another spoon. Fjord Jr. I'm not familiar with this brand. It's a nice little spoon. These all look like little trout fishing lures. Here's a little guy. This looks like a Rapala. I think it is. It's so small I can hardly read it. That's a cool little minnow bait. It's got some really small treble hooks on there. And finally, I'm not sure what brand this is, but it's another little jointed crankbait. See right there, the little joint where it can swing freely. I'm not sure what brand this one is, but I would say these are all from the 70s and 80s probably. It's a neat little kit. Hopefully I can catch something on one of these. All right, here we have Nico Fishing out of Virginia. Let's see what Nico Fishing sends. All right, Nico Fishing. Hello, I've been enjoying your videos off and on for a while. They are pleasant to watch and I often learn something along the way. I enclosed a pack of Helgramites, tadpoles, shrimp, and pinchworms, all made by a small Japanese company called Nico. Let's take a look. All right, so here are the Nico tadpoles. That's an interesting looking lure. So there's a little soft plastic tadpole bait. Got a nice long tail. Looks like a drop shot bait of sorts. This actually looks familiar to me. I have this Japanese version, Japanese package of the same thing. Two pack Nico Worm Premium Tadpoles. So that's crazy. Someone sent me these. I found this at the store the other day. That's a strange coincidence. We'll see what else they sent. Yeah, that's a pretty good looking little shrimp. I don't know that I could catch anything on a shrimp here, but maybe. It sort of resembles a crawfish. Look at those antennas. I'm trying to stay still and those things are wobbling like crazy. We also have some worms here called pinch worm. All right, let's see. What is this pinch worm? So enclosed were these two really long plastic worms. I guess the idea is if you want one this big, you just separate it. You want one this big, just pinch it off right there. So that's funny. It's kind of like a choose your length worm. Heavily scented. It sure is. It smells like shrimp. One more. Helgramites. Alright, so there's a Helgramite. It's like a fly larva. In this case, it looks kind of like a centipede. That's a pretty good little lure. These are all pretty good drop shot lures. Although I bet I could Texas rig some of these bigger ones. I don't think I could Texas rig the tadpole though. Pretty cool. Here's one from Adam in Edmond Park, Oklahoma. Let's see what the letter says. In Texas rig we trust. Hi, I just wanted to send you some Zoom flukes to use. They are my favorite summer to early fall baits. Keep it realistic. Adam. Well, thanks, Adam. These are some good looking flukes. That'd be a tiny little Texas rig, and you know what? I'll probably try it. Hopefully, this fall. Right now, the fishing kind of sucks, so I'm opening all the mail so everyone can see what was sent to the show. Two more. Let's see. This one is from someone in Rock Falls, Illinois. Let's see what we got here. 
Hope you like the stuff. Cade. I think it says Cade. I can't really read the handwriting, but I appreciate the lures. Cade. Let's see what we have in here. We have this big fire tiger looking jerk bait. I'm not sure exactly what kind it is, but it has a rattle. It's pretty heavy. Good looking lure. We also have this deep diving shad pattern lure. I think this is a cotton cordel or something similar. It also has some rattles and sharp hooks. Yeah, deep diving shad. We also have a small diving grasshopper bait. And it looks like there's a few soft plastics in a bag. Ooh, and money. Everyone likes money. You didn't have to send me any money. 59 cents. Thanks for sending me 59 cents. Thanks again, Cade. From Rock Falls, Illinois. And one more. Here we go. This one's a little heavier from JT in Wichita, Kansas. This is a big box for the table. There's a note inside that says, Alex, I hope you enjoy these as much as I do your show. I threw in some salmon eggs in case you do any trout fishing this winter. Good luck. Thanks, JT. I probably will do some trout fishing this winter, so let's check out these salmon eggs. Pretty cool. So we got the Potsky Bait Company. Green Label Balls of Fire. It's just little eggs in a jar. Hey, here's a spool of my favorite line, 12 pound Omniflex. Awesome. They're sold out at my Walmart, so I'm glad I got some. We got some H2O Express Jointed Sunfish. So there's a Sunfish Swim Bait. It has three different sections, so it kind of S's through the water. That's pretty cool. Looks like we have a, another jointed sunfish. These look like Academy brand swim baits, which I appreciate. They always have a nice paint job. Another spool of line. This is awesome. Another spool of line. That's awesome. Three spools are my favorite line. Can't beat that. All right, we got some O-rings. This is for when you wacky rig stuff, you can just hook the hook through the ring instead of the bait, make it last a little longer. We also have some Ultra Head Wacky Rig Weedless Wacky Style Hooks, 3 16 ounce. That was a mouthful but I appreciate the hooks. So if you want your wacky rig to sink a little faster, you use one of these. Hey, some more scent. Nope, it's not scent, real snot. Line and real lube. I'm not very familiar with this product, but I have heard of it. I guess you spray it on your line, on your reel, and it Helps it not get tangled up or come off the spool a little easier. I'm not exactly sure. I'll give it a try though. We'll see if it makes a difference. We also have some KVD Perfect Plastics. Game Hog. So this is a brush hog style KVD bait. We also have a package of game hogs in watermelon red and black. Same kind of deal, just a different color. Also a package of Strike King shimmy sticks. Pretty cool. I like the color pattern on this. Sweet tater pie. This is a lot of great stuff, JT. Hopefully I can catch some good ones. Alright, since I'm here in the studio, we might as well pick the winner for the Bromance and Goes Through My Stuff fishing video. Here's the video, Bromance and Exposes My Fishing Fanboy Collection. Alright, we have 894 comments, 
Let's go over what the giveaway was one more time, really quick. All right, for the giveaway, we have Powerbait Shaky Snakes, KVD Perfect Plastic Ochos, Smart Baits Color Changing Baits, Missile D Bombs, Zoom Lizards, Dominator Jig Heads, and River to Sea Tungsten Vibe 70 Lipless Crankbait. All right, hopefully I can randomly pick the winner. Sometimes this button is a little small. Let's see. The winner is the Old Basser. I remember that Activision Fishing Derby game. All right, Old Basser, get a hold of me. Instagram, email. I'll reply to your comment here and let you know you won. But if you want to claim this prize, all you got to do is get me your shipping information and I'll send them out as soon as I can. Thanks for all the lures in the mail and thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.